In this video, I will go over a concept of creating ground lighting using 2DFX shadows. As you may be aware, MTA has recently got the Create Building Scripting function, which supports 2DFX projections. That means we can now place 2DFX shadows around the map to spare us from having to add detailed pre-light or light mapping to achieve some smooth ground lighting. The beauty of pre-lighting with 2DFX shadows is we are adding no added download with this method as the 2DFX textures are already stored in local game files. We can also change the color of these shadows, their intensity, their draw distance among other settings, making this a great alternative to vertex pre-lights for ground lighting. If you're on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to max legacy and restart 3 DS Max. To keep this video short, I will import an existing model from the GTA underscore int.img file. You will notice it already has some existing lights. I will create my own though. In the example I had shown earlier, there were three types of 2DFX shadows, a blue one from the windows, a small golden for the overhead lights, and a large golden for a better fall off. For creating those lights, I will use some basic shapes for distributing them evenly. I'll create three Omnis and name them accordingly. Begin distributing the lights using the splines as guides. Now that we have the lights created, we should reposition the skylights because we don't want the entire half of them on the floor, but more like a quarter or one third of the shadow. We can just remove the old lights as they are no longer needed. Create a box and prepare it for exporting with Goldfish's scripts. 
This box will have the two DFX data, which will then be transferred into the main DFF that was exported by the Heroes plugin. The reason we will be using two exporters is because the Heroes plugin is recommended for final exports, but it does not support 2DFX data, and so that is why we are using Goldfish's scripts to export just the 2DFX data. We now need to link our lights to the box. That is, because the lights will be exported together with the box. We should also lower the position of the lights so that they don't collide with the ceiling. Open Goldfish's 2DFX interface. Let's start with the sky lights. Select the lights and add a blue tint. Set the corona size to zero, as that way we won't be seeing any actual light but only its shadow. Set light range to zero so that we don't get dynamic lighting on the player. Set shadow size as 10. You may have to increase or decrease these values, as I have not tested them myself. Set shadow multiplier as 50. This should create a subtle sky tint. If it's too subtle, then try increasing the value. Set the lights to only show during day. If they don't show during day, then try a different weather ID because 2DFX doesn't show during day for all weather IDs. Finally, apply the options to the lights. Let's configure the small overhead lights now. Change the color to a golden yellow tint. Set the shadow size as four. I have not tested the size. Set the light to show during both day and night and apply to the lights. Finally, let's configure the large overhead lights. Set the shadow size as six. This way, we get a softer fall off for the light. Set shadow multiplier as 50. Apply to the lights. Now that we have the 2 dfx data set for all lights, we can export the models. Add a gray pre-light color to both day and night for the interior. That way, the 2D effects is easier to see. Lastly, we need to modify the collision for the skylights to be able to project onto the model. Now attach the custom collision mesh to the original collision mesh and export. Lastly, we just need to transfer the 2DFX data.
That is all for this video. If the lights don't look good, try changing their parameters.